it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. Welcome back to the SJ Pour 2014 Beer Challenge. The beer that I'm going to review now is the Chocolate Stout. That's JA014 US. So let's get a pour on this and see what we got. It's a cool looking bottle cap. Let's see. Oh, we got some good hits. And some good smoke coming out the top of the bottle. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's actually it's pretty cloudy. It's more of a brown color than it is a black or anything. Looks like a pretty, pretty good carbonation. And a creamy tan colored head on top. So let's review this beer. Okay, let's see what we got here. Like I said, this is this is a pretty murky beer. So like I said, I know it's got cocoa uh, powder in it. Let's see what all it has. It has two row pale malt, Maris otter malt, chocolate malt, roasted barley, victory malt, crystal 80, crystal 40, unsweetened cocoa powder. Centennial Hops, Challenger Hops, and East Kent Golding Hops. USO4 for the yeast. Hmm. Doesn't smell like what I was expecting it to smell like. I thought maybe I could smell the cocoa right up front, but just a hint of the cocoa, but I think I'm really actually picking up quite a bit of the hops. It almost has a peppery smell to it. I mean like chili, not pepper like as in black pepper, but almost more like a chili pepper type smell. Almost flowery too at the same time. It's like a flowery hop. So I said, I'm not sure. I think the only one of those hops I haven't used is perhaps the Challenger, so. The smell has me perplexed, I will say that much. So let's get a taste on this. I'm not picking up a lot of the cocoa in this. I think I'm getting more of the, actually, the hops on this. Than the rest of it. It's pretty bitter. First out. So like I said, the uh, color of it is more of a brown than a black. I'm just not getting the cocoa out of this. So as I said, I'm just picking up more of the, the hot bitterness than I am pretty much the malts and stuff. There might be a hint of cocoa in there, but it's not a lot. As I said, I, there's a lot of hot bitterness in this beer. And it's almost a flowery, perfumey aroma and taste to it. It's different. It's not what I was expecting. So like I said, so let's let this sit for 15 minutes and uh, see what we come up with. It is leaving some nice lacing down the side of the glass, as you can see. So we're going to leave this for 15 minutes and see if some more of that uh, cocoa comes through. So we'll be back. 
Okay, I'm back. Had an emergency. Dribble beer all down the front of my shirt, so I had to stop real quick and change. So this has been sitting for about 15 minutes. I can smell a little more of the cocoa that's in this now. Still, just mostly the hops. Just really, I'm not really picking up on the flavor of the cocoa in this. I said I'm getting a lot of really floral hop notes off this beer. This is the head. The head sticking around. It's there. It's not a lot of it. So anyway, I will give my rating on this beer. Thanks for joining in.